The Florida Department of Education has suggested a number of evidences for evolution that should be taught to high school students. We've already discussed in Creation Bites uh, the evidences of comparative anatomy and comparative embryology. Another evidence that they suggest is molecular biology. Now this is a little bit difficult to go into in detail in a short video clip of this type. Basically we're talking about molecules and how small molecules could get themselves together to form simple cells. But just the phrase simple cells belies a huge amount of truth because the simplest cell that you can possibly find is in truth not very simple on the chemical level at all. It actually has all the sophistication of a major industrial city and that's just one so-called simple cell. The idea that molecules could get together to do that is really quite fanciful. Experiments have been proposed where supposed early atmospheres are reacted under various conditions, usually without elemental oxygen, usually with electricity, and producing amino acids, which are said to be the building blocks of life. On one level, you can say that that is true because uh, DNA molecules will contain various proteins and those proteins would be made of amino acids. So you could say that's true, but the DNA itself can't come about by chance and wouldn't have been synthesized in such a reaction. It actually contains those proteins in particular orders, which actually amount to an intelligent code. But even the amino acids themselves are problematic. One of the amazing things about amino acid molecules is that they contain asymmetric carbon atoms. That means you can arrange the molecules in two mirror image molecules. These molecules will do the same job chemically, but they will rotate plane polarized light in opposite directions. Therefore, one type of molecule is called the left rotating and the other is called the right rotating. We often refer to them as left-handed and right-handed molecules. The experiments to synthesize these amino acids produce a mixture of amino acids, some amino acids of which are not actually found in natural organisms anyway. But what's more, you get what's known as a racemic mixture, a 50-50 mixture of the left and right-handed molecules. What the molecular biologists, uh, when they're trying to use this subject to provide evidence for evolution, do not tell you is that actually living organisms contain only the left-handed molecules. And there is no explanation as to how only the left-handed molecules could have come about and not the right-handed molecules, which after all react in the same way chemically. But if you were to pass uh, uh, them through your system, would not be absorbed into the body because they would have the, the wrong-handedness, as it were, and therefore would not be able to uh, link to the existing molecules. So, simply stating that molecules can get themselves together to form simple cells is very disingenuous, is very misleading, and should not be offered as an evidence for evolution because it is not.